have Molly. Thoughtful, preoccupation, it's a play on words. Ain't isn't funny, Mr. Ain't, huh? I gave Bob Hope three jokes about she was so fat that in trade war, too. By the way, did you make reservations for Middleton Beers? They wouldn't make any reservations. Said everything was full up. Our only chance is for somebody to make a cancellation. Well, I told you we had no business traveling anywhere these days. Citizens ought to sit and let the troops have the trip. Yeah, but I tell you, this is important stuff. The McGee system of post-war travel is one of the greatest ideas ever. Well, hello there, kids. Going someplace? Hello, Mr. Goldfrey. <laughs> yes, uh, McGee is going to see a man in Middleton about promoting an idea. Out from Washington, old-timer. He's a big man down there. Yes, so. i got a cousin down in Washington County. He's a bureau creek. <laughs> no, you mean bureau crack. No, bureau creek. Huh? He creates cures for people that got no place to put their furniture. <laughs> Washington's pretty crowded now, kid. Well, if this idea of mine goes the way I think it will, we'll most likely move into the White House, old timer. Yeah, and if it goes the way your ideas usually go, we'll move into the doghouse. <laughs> anyway, if Washington is too crowded, I'll move my headquarters to New York. Getting kind of ahead of yourself, ain't you, Johnny? Huh? It's always been a big job for you to move your hindquarters. <laughs> keep you kids any longer, but if you'll take my advice, you'll get out of the streetcar and go home. Oh, yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Look at all them boys in uniform. They had enough for them to be fighting Japs and Germans without having to fight Americans for a seat in the train. Take it over, Johnny. <laughs> Nosy old grave digger. Here I am with the most important government project of the century. Well, I think he's right, McGee. Your idea may be good, but it's not a government project. Well, neither was the war till it was forced onto us. This idea of mine is going to be the Pearl Harbor transportation. It's going to wake people up. It's going to. Hey, let's get to the information desk while we got a chance. All right, I'll go with you and help you think up some funny questions. All right, sis. What about trains to Middleton? Yes. Yes, what, dearie? Yes, there are trains to Middleton. Doggone it, I know there's trains to Middleton, but when? 1.32 a.m., 4.27 a.m., 8.50 a.m., 11 a.m., 2.56 p.m., 6.18 p.m. at midnight. Do you like to travel with the Queen of Society? Absolutely, sis. Then I suggest the Jersey Special at 4.27 a.m. That's the milk train. <laughs> Is it uh, true that the trains are pretty crowded right now, dearie? Yes, madam. You must realize that space for civilian travel is necessarily restricted because of troop movements and war business. Well, this is a fine state of how do you do. Who's in charge of transportation for the government anyway? I'm going to write that guy a dirty letter. Mr. Joseph B. Easton. Oh, he'll help us. We've been using one of his cameras for years. <laughs> Splendid. I'm sure he'll send you one of his best negatives. Excuse me, please. Yes, Looks like we've eaten our bus lunch right here in the station. It's an outrage, that's what it is. My gosh, you'd think we were asking for a special train on a private track with a crew of cover girls. All we want is a seat on one of their sooty old bone checkers. You're being slightly unreasonable, David. Unreasonable, my clavicle. Is it unreasonable? <laughs> is it unreasonable to want to go a mere 250 miles to transact some legitimate business? Certainly not, sweetheart. Well, what if some soldier sailor does have to spend his 10-day furlough in a railroad station? Because some civilians grabbed all the accommodations. Oh, oh. Maybe they like railroad stations. They can have fun playing red cap as long as they're left holding the bag anyway. <laughs> well, you wait till the McGee system of transportation. Oh, hello there, folks. Where are you going for? Hello, Mr. Wilcox. Hi, Junior. Do you smell something burning? No, what's burning? I am. <laughs> he wants to go see a man in Middleton on business, Mr. Wilcox, and there's no one's face on the train. Yeah. Well, what might he think there would be? You heard about the war, pal? Huh? You see, it all started when the Japs smacked us at Pearl Harbor. Oh, then... of course I know about the war. Well, then you ought to know better than to try to travel on trains these days, pal. They've got all they can handle with soldiers and sailors and government employees and military supplies. I'm practically a government official myself, Wilcox. Or I will be as soon as they take a gander at my new, new transportation system. Yeah. Hmm? on business, Mr. Wilcox, and there's no space on the train. Yeah. Well, what might even think there would be? You heard about the war, pal? Huh? It all started when the Japs smacked us at Pearl Harbor. Oh, then... Of course I know about the war. 
Well, then you ought to know better than to try to dabble on trains these days in town. They've got all they can handle with soldiers and sailors, government employees, military supplies. I'm practically a government official myself, Wilcox. Or I will be as soon as they take a gander at my new transportation system. Yeah. Out of his sister, <laughs> well, take it easy, friend. These days, railroads are like a kitchen linoleum. Oh, my gosh, there he goes. <laughs> when they have to handle too much traffic, something has to be done about it. Now, with the railroads, they have to cut down on traveling. With linoleum, the best treatment is Thompson self-polishing glow coat. You ever have a shoe come off in your hand, dragging them in by the heels like that? <laughs> Protection, that's the answer. The railroads have to protect themselves against breakdowns and overloading by persuading people not to travel unnecessarily. Just like linoleum is protected against wear and dampness and grinding dirt particles by Johnson's glow coat. And I bet the railroads wish they had some system of protection as easy to use as glow coat, that they could just apply and let dry and have the whole job done in 20 minutes or less. Hey, what are you doing down here at the Rickley Road Station, Mr. Wilcox? Well, I was waiting for somebody. Who? You. What do you want to see McGee about? I had a message.